Hello, hello everybody. This is Mommy with Flowers by the Bunch. I hope you are having a wonderful afternoon. So today I need to make an order for a birthday that goes out in the morning. But now what I'm going to do, instead of making just one arrangement, I am going to duplicate it. I'm going to make two of the same arrangement. One of them will go out for our order in the morning. The second one will go in the front cooler so that we can sell it as customers come in. So this way I'm saving time um, and I have my front cooler full with floral arrangements so when someone walks in they're able to just pick it right out of that cooler. I'm going to start out by greening out this container. So this is just leather leaf fern and I'm going to take and add some leather leaf to this vase. And we've already got one vase greened out, so I'm just going to add this greenery and it is ready. Next, what I'm going to do, so I have two vases greened out. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start out with my lime flower. So the lime flower I have chosen are these really pretty lavender snapdragons. They come in bundles just like this. I just took the little tie off them. They usually come wrapped in bundles of 10 stems. So I've taken um, the, the wrap off that stem and I'm going to take my stem and strip off any foliage that might fall below that water line. And I am going to start with my tallest flower first. And so you'll just take your hands and very carefully just strip off all the foliage that might fall below the water line. And they do not have to look identical. Um, so it's okay if they don't. So they don't have to come be exact because they're not going to the same person. So it will not matter. Nobody's going to know it. Okay. These snapdragons came from California. California snapdragons are way better than South America snapdragons. And I'm not sure why. I don't know why California grows a prettier snap than South America. So we got these from California this morning to be exact. They came in on our truck this morning. And they are so big and pretty and very sturdy snapdragons. Okay, so there's three snaps in each. Next, I'm gonna come in with some purple stock. So I have some royal purple stock. So I'm gonna tuck a couple of stems of stock down in here. Now let me show you a trick. If you want, if you kind of know in the base where you want the flower, so if it if it needs to be, I'm gonna hold my flower here. So you'll kind of know where to cut your stem. If you'll kind of hang it off the side of the, um, the table that you're working on, you'll kind of have an idea of where you want to cut your stem. If you'll just hold that close to the base. You always want to be a little more careful when cutting the stems of your flowers because you'd rather cut too little off than not than too much. Um, if you cut too much then it's going to be too short in the arrangement. Now over the years I've done this so many times that I don't really have to measure anymore but every once in a while you'll have to measure. All right so there is my purple snaps and my purple, my royal purple stock. Next I'm gonna come in with some Solidago filler flower. I like to put my filler flower in because it's going to help keep all these flowers standing up straight. It kind of fills in and keeps everything from wiggling too much. So 
So there's my solid ego. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Callie and Victoria in there laughing. All right, so there's our solid go. And that's just going to help me keep my flowers in place. So every time I move, they don't they don't move around. Okay, so there's our solid go. Next I am going to come in with some pretty, I don't even know the name of this color, but it is lovely. So these are kind of a peachy colored mom. Now they are big stems, so I'm really only gonna use one stem per container. Um, now usually I will tell you, I like to use more than one stem. Um, and I'm removing any foliage that looks bumped or, bad, or bruised. Take that stem and I'm going to cut it in half. So I have two separate pieces. I'm going to tuck my larger piece right down here towards the mouth of the vase. And then I'm going to leave my taller piece and tuck it in higher into the arrangement. Now this one is not quite as full as that one. So I'm not going to do it the same, but it's okay. This one will go in the cooler. It won't really matter. Okay, so there's my mom tucked in there. I'm going to come in with some kangaroo paw. Now, I don't know that you have ever seen me work with this, but it is so much fun and it's a perfect fall filler flower, I would say. It's called kangaroo paw. Now the one disadvantage of kangaroo paw is it has little bitty hairs just like okra. If you've ever gone out in the garden and picked okra, you'll find that okra makes you itchy um, because it has fine little hairs all over the, um, the okra. Kangaroo paw has the same. So it makes you a little itchy, but it is really great stuff. So I'm gonna take and cut it in half, and I'm gonna tuck one piece in, and then I'm gonna leave this longer piece, and I am going to tuck it in up closer to the, I mean, up higher, and then this last piece, I'm gonna tuck right in here, okay? So one piece gave us three insertions, which is really great. And I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to take that one, tuck it low, and then I think this one only got up to. I'm going to tuck this one high. All right. Next, we're going to come in with some pretty orange roses, and this rose is called Orange Crush. Um, and it's the prettiest pumpkin orange, just a really pretty orange rose. I'm gonna take and remove any of the foliage um, that falls below the waterline, and I'm removing any of these guard petals um, that may not be pretty. And I'm going to wire these roses. I'm actually gonna take and cut that half of a wire in half. So it's a fourth of a florist wire. And I'm just wiring their little heads so that their little heads will stay straight. But I love these orange crush roses. They just make me so happy. You'll see how um, guard petals have just kind of a little, they're crinkled, sometimes discolored, and you just remove those guard petals. Those guard petals are on the rose to protect that rose bud, um, and it's good to remove it. Now, some guard petals are just beautiful, but you'll find that people who do not know much about flowers and don't work with flowers see a guard petal and they may think the flower is dead. So it's better to go ahead and remove that guard petal. So just in case, you just never know.
All right, so I've got my roses um, wired. I'm gonna turn it around and I'm going to, I'm gonna tuck one rose here in the center here and then I'm gonna tuck one rose down lower. So I'm gonna look at my two buds. This is a smaller bud than this one, so it's gonna be my higher rose uh, or up higher in the arrangement. So I'm gonna take that stem, cut it at an angle and tuck it right here in the center of that arrangement. Now this rose is gonna go about here. So you can see where I'm holding it. I'm gonna take and cut that stem shorter and tuck it right there. I'm gonna do the same with the other arrangement. And I used my, um, my knife to cut off any of the rose thorns because they bite, so I'm just taking and, and running that knife down that stem to remove any of those thorns that might bite. Now, I don't really use a rose stripper. Some people do. I don't strip roses. Um, we just cut them. We remove the rose thorns as we use them. Um, some use a rose stripper, but I don't find that it's necessary. There's my two rose buds in each. And you can see they're not identical, but, um, but they're close enough. These are hypericum berries or coffee berries, kind of in a burgundy red or kind of a reddish color. Almost a brick red, I think. I'm gonna take a couple stems of these um, berries and I am just going to tuck them here and there just as kind of a filler flower. I love Hypericum berries. They come in lots of colors and they work perfect for the fall. And if any of these, uh, any of the greenery is bumped or bruised, just go ahead and remove that. It's not gonna hurt the berries at all if you remove that large foliage. Um, and you can just remove it. All right. Next, I'm going to add just a touch of this agonis. Agonis is, um, it's kind of a burgundy colored um, greenery. Really, it works perfect as a filler flower. Um, it's just, it has such pretty movement. It's just really nice. Now, this is one stem of agonis. I'm not even gonna use one stem for both arrangements. So, it goes a long way. I'm gonna take that and um, cut it and just tuck a little bit here and there in this arrangement. And it just makes me happy. This color is pretty and the movement is pretty. It just works great in arrangements. And it's perfect for this time of year. Just perfect. So you can see I cut that one in two separate pieces. Tuck one low here and then I'll tuck one low here. And so I only used three pieces of this one stem. So it goes a long way. Now last, to finish off this arrangement, I'm gonna add a couple of bows, um, a bow to each. And I'm gonna use this, it's just a pretty fall plaid. It has a little bit of a um, navy blue, some oranges and greens. I thought the blue would be pretty with the purple. If I don't like it, I'll pull it off. Um, it's a wired ribbon. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to do about three loops. I'm gonna make a loop, twist, a loop, twist, and a loop. And then I'm gonna cut this as a tail. I'm gonna use just a piece of florist wire and I'm laying it right here up underneath this thumb. And I am going to use my pointer finger so that it'll be tight. And I just twisted that wire now let me show you what we like to do here at our flower shop. Instead of using a, wire pick, a wired wood pick um, that costs money, I am going to use, this is just um, part of that Hypericum berry stem. I'm gonna take that stem and I'm going to wrap that wire right around that stem that was just going to go in the garbage and I am going to use it as my little pick to hold my ribbon. 
and I just tucked it right in. I'm going to make another bow for the second arrangement. But you see how, how much time this saves where you don't have to think about what's going in the next one. You can always just gather enough materials to make two arrangements at one time and it saves so much time to stick flowers in your front cooler. So I'm just taking that wire and wrapping it right around this hypericum stem. And I'm going to tuck that right into my arrangement. And there you have it, two arrangements, one to go out to our customer and one to pop in our cooler. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me this afternoon. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and meet us over there on Facebook at Flowers by the Bunch over on Facebook. We do videos every day. Guys, have a great day and we'll see you all real soon.